Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and yesterday Promo Bricks provided us with a ton of HD high quality pictures for all of the superhero sets, specifically the DC sets is what I want to talk about. We've really gotten good looks I think at uh, two of the sets, but now we've seen the inside of one of them, which is like what we really need to talk about. But with the exception of one set, all these sets will be releasing on June the first. There's some cool surprises actually in the other sets, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first set that I want to talk about really quickly again is set number 76157. This is the Wonder Woman vs. Cheetah set. I know, I've talked about it enough, but uh, it is available right now for $39.99 USD or $49.99 Canadian. I have a review up, but I know that it was just missed. There was just so much going around with that set. It was like, take down the pictures, but then uh, it was appearing at Target the next day. It was so confusing. But uh, anyways, it is available right now, even though the movie has been pushed back. I, it looks like they're not pulling it off of shelves like they did with some of the Minion sets. But check out my review. Uh, there's the card at the top if you want to see that but let's move on now to set number 76158 and this is the penguin pursuit and this is a four plus set it has 54 pieces and will retail for 9.99 usd or 14.99 canadian and this set is really good like i've gone like 180 like literally this set is bad it has no printing blah blah because we were given such crummy quality pictures to start off with, and that's what I based my original assumptions off of. Now that we have crisp, good quality pictures, this penguin is one of the best penguins we've ever gotten. Not necessarily the torso is my favorite, but I love that face. I think it looks so awesome. I love that face print so, so much. I think it looks really awesome. What's interesting about Batman here is that he has this brand new cape piece, and you're going to see that appear in all of the sets. So I wasn't expecting that. You'll see that in the next one, but there's actually... A second version of this cape but you'll again you'll check it out in a sec but it's just it's really weird I don't know why they would necessarily include it in this set um, it's just it'll probably it'll it's bigger and thicker like it'll get ripped more in a four plus set right it's gonna be played with a lot but the duck build is fine as well as the bat boat honestly it's a four plus set it's fine but I do like the new prints there that you're getting I think those are new um, it's hard to keep up with all these four, small 4 plus Batman sets, but honestly, I think it's a good solid set for $10, $15. I think it's really good. And you're getting the Penguin, which it's been a bit since we've gotten him. I think the last time would have been the Lego Batman movie, so it's cool to be getting him again. But let's move on to the next set, which is set number 76159. This is the Joker's Trike Chase. This has 440 pieces and will retail for $49.99 USD or $59.99 Canadian. And I really, really like this set the more that we keep seeing for this set i'm just getting sold on more and more things because now we're getting to see the play features and the play features for this set specifically i want to talk about is the joker's car the trike sorry when you push it forward the teeth go up and down and they chatter like chattering teeth that that's really awesome so you can't get that off the original pictures and different things that we got uh first looks at now what you can also see from this picture here on screen is that the Batman figure here is coming with two new capes. And what's interesting, again, is that I'm noticing here, the more that I look at these things, I notice more and more. Batman's cape here, the, the one with the figure, the regular one that we're used to is that newer fabric. But I think that these two new cape pieces are the old cloth, the thin one that looks nice and it doesn't cover up the neck. So that's kind of strange to me why they're doing that. And same with Robin, you can see that he's got the newer versions of the capes there. Um, so some things to note here about the set. I know a lot of people and I, literally while I was making the previous video for the DC sets, I was like, man, this looks like the Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile, kind of a little bit. I, I think it's definitely the closest thing. So this combined with the figure from the, the remote control Batmobile, like you've got an Arkham set, I feel like here. And specifically this one shot, right now you can see on screen of him jumping out of the Batmobile, that looks directly like it's from Arkham, like when he jumps out and starts gliding. Like I think that obviously that's what these new capes are meant to represent is the different forms of him gliding. So that's crazy to me personally. Like I, I see that and that's immediately what I think of. I don't know about you, but I love this Batmobile design. I think it looks like a combination of different things and I those like the covers for the wheels look really interesting. I can't place that piece, but I'm excited. Looks good. Uh, I'm glad that there's not necessarily a giant bat on the front. I think that it's nice. It's subtle with just having them on the wheels. That works fine. The Robin cycle looks awesome. Looks great. 
good addition to the collection. And again, the Joker trike just looks absolutely amazing with all these stickers, the chattering teeth on the front, the, the Joker toxin shooter on the side, looks great. But these figures as well are really good, specifically one of them if you haven't if you haven't gotten Robin from last year, which is a great figure, as well as uh, the newer Batman and Joker, they both look great. But uh, Robin here is using mid legs, so that's a good th addition, I guess. He's growing up from last year. Maybe next year he'll have regular size legs. But here specifically for Harley, it, she just looks really great. I love this brand new outfit. A lot of people are saying it's based off the show. It's not based off the show. We've seen the back printing. It, it it's not from the TV show or anything like that. But if you want it to be, that's fine, but it still looks really awesome, and I love her design, and she is using the face and hair from the 4 Plus Arkham Asylum set from last year, so that's really awesome. But this next set is the one that I think we all really were interested in, what is inside, and honestly, and, and what this set does, I guess, at the, at the same time, and that is, of course, set number 76160, the Mobile Bat Base. This has 743 pieces and will retail for $89.99 USD, or... 119 maybe 99 Canadian I'm not sure about the Canadian price for that originally when I saw the box I was like oh it doesn't look like there's that good of an interior but then we got these pictures and they just really sold me on this set so uh, look at this there's so much going on here like there's genuinely so much uh, there's this weird little plane that can take off from like the front of the attachment that attaches to the front of the truck and uh, that little plane thing on the inside of it actually has this little buggy that can actually pop out of the back. So that's really cool. And so here you can see Nightwing is piloting it there. And then the buggy pops out the back. And there's just so many stickers here. Like just on that little plane part itself, there I see like two on one side. So there's two on the other side. And then on the buggy, there's another sticker there. And you can see how it detaches from the back of the truck, and it just looks cool. And if you notice here, the truck can also stand, it has like a foot so that you can detach the front of the truck and have it driving around by itself, and then have the mobile base uh, just sitting there with that stand up. So that's really cool. I, I like that a lot, and you can see the sticker there on the side of the truck as well. And there's also a sticker on the front of that little plane or jet or whatever <laughs> i don't know what that's meant to be um, but another cool play feature is that we noticed from the first picture was that in the back of the truck there is actually this little motorcycle hiding in the bottom there so it can actually launch out uh, by lowering that i'm not sure the exact play feature of how to lower that um, but that is pretty cool and you could also i guess put the robin cycle from the joker trike in there if you wanted to as well now on the inside of the bat base it's uh it's it's okay i think it definitely definitely could have been better but you've got like these gears or something that allows batman to spin around as well as like he has like a bunch of different weapons and gears and different things to the left of him but what i really like is this computer screen and i was hoping for maybe a better bat computer but i think it's cool it's connected remotely to the bat computer i guess back at the bat cave or whatever it's using wayne enterprise tech and different things like that so i really love that i think that's cool and in the back you could see there that mr freeze is in a prison cell as well so i was right about the holding cell on the computer and you can also store a tnt there for some reason a battering as well as nightwing's a christmas stick so that's that's really cool i think that 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 works really well. I don't know the interior of the front of the truck, however, but you can see that there's a ton of stickers on that thing as well. And I like the uses of all the grill pieces. Well, as well as you could see there, uh, there's lights and different things on the top part when you have the the truck open like that. You can see that when you close it, it's it's just a, it's a, you don't need to have that detail. I think that's really cool. But when you close it, it's meant to act like. Uh, of course, there's lighting inside, so I think that's really cool. Again, unnecessary, but that that's really awesome. I'm looking at the back of the box here, and you can see that the bat boat actually comes out of the front of the truck. So it's just, it's just awesome. I love this set because it's like it just shows that Batman is ready for anything. Like this truck literally has stuff for I like that could be a spaceship, that could be a it could be a plane whatever you want it to be he's got the truck just in general for going around the city but small spaces he's got the little buggy or the motorcycle he's also got the bat boat there's just so many things here and also on the back of the box you could see that there is actually a little uh, feature for you to break out mr freeze as well or whoever you want to put in the back of the truck i don't know if man bat would actually fit there 
but uh, it, it's still a cool play feature. And the figures itself here, again, are incredible. Like, absolutely amazing. So we got the Batman from last year, and that's fine. But Batgirl here, really growing on me, I gotta say. These official pictures are, are really selling it. I love the the prints here on her torso, the face print, as well as the cape piece that looks really awesome in that color, as well as for Nightwing. I just love the torso. The detail on that torso looks so cool. I love the dark blue lining in it, different things, as well as his mask looks probably the best Nightwing mask I think we've ever gotten. And honestly, like this to me also looks like an Arkham Nightwing. Like that could definitely double for an Arkham Nightwing. We've had an Arkham Robin in the past. So we're, we've got it all. We, we just need an Arkham Joker and, and some other characters and we're set. Um, even Arkham Knight, just chuck him in one of these sets, you know, because uh, he's a comic book character now as well, not just from the games. But anyways, some people thought that the Mr. Freeze was actually exclusive. It's not. I think that the legs are still gunmetal gray, so they're not black like some people were thinking. You could see the difference of color there between him and Nightwing. And with the next character, Bronze Tiger, brand new character. The only new character in the wave, I guess, if if you don't include Maxwell Lord, but he just looks really awesome. And I love the torso printing there as well as the new head print. I think that looks so cool. I'm excited to see what kind of purest figures and different things can come out of uh, the new torso as well as the face. I think there's a lot of options there. But uh, Man Bat, wh what a show stealer. I, I did not expect that. Look at that. He's got leg printing. The only figure in this set to have leg printing. The torso looks so cool. And then the bat ears or whatever from like Monster Fighters, I think was the first time we got the piece, but it has printing. Like that looks so cool. I love the ear printing on the inside and the face for Man Bat is just so creepy looking. And I'm trying to see if on any of the other pictures, if we have an double face print, but I can't seem to find it. But I'm wondering if he has an upset expression like the other Man Bat. I really love that about the other Man Bat. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of these sets? What do you think of the mobile bat base now that we have official pictures and we get to see the inside and all the different play features? I think that's really, really cool. But I hope that you did enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on the latest LEGO news and reviews. I hope that you did enjoy this video and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.